two propositions that have to do with Ozark's Technical Community College. Linda Russell explains what each one would help fund. Come April 3rd, many of you will see both Proposition A and Proposition B on your ballots. And OTC wants you to know that A is for the programs they already have, while B is for big plans. Area leaders are showing their support because they believe OTC can help drive the region's growth. The number one factor for uh, employers, if they're going to grow here, if they're already here, or those companies that are not here yet looking at where they're going to locate next, is they want to know they have a reliable pipeline of talent and workforce that can be trained. I was actually mayor when that actually went to the ballot. And so when you talk about that, that's a community-wide effort. And it goes back to what I talk about so often, and that's collaboration. And that is that very little of any consequence in this community happens without a lot of people weighing in and supporting it. And clearly that five cent levy was an example of that. For us it was great because we stood up there and we presented our case and then we got to see faces light up. And they were already really positive about OTC, but then when we talked about what our dreams were for the future with the center, I mean, they got excited. And so the campaign was not hard, the campaign was really fun. The OTC bond issue, Proposition A, would renew a five cent tax that's been paid for many years to help support the school. Overwhelmingly, this thing is passed tonight. Proposition B on the ballot also for OTC. This would be a new five cent tax for the school. And with 100% of precincts reporting there, and that one passes too. For our voters who voted yes on A and B, thank you. When we passed the original 20 years ago, we made promises and we outperformed and we promised to outperform our promises of yet. At Ozark's Technical Community College in Springfield today, OTC says the $40 million Center for Advanced Manufacturing will house training and education for robotics, mechatronics, and automation. Governor Parson and Representative Billy Long were at the groundbreaking ceremony today. The center will also have space for companies to do research and develop new equipment. You know, the one thing we're really needing is that vehicle. You know, our goal, my goal has always been to try to grow our community with jobs that you can raise a family on. Manufacturing jobs pay well over the average salary. If we're going to grow our community here in Southwest Missouri, I believe that manufacturing is one of our best bets. My prediction will be that as we look back on this, this will be a great turning point in the history of, of OTC. I think people will look back and say, you know, they had great years from the inception of the college. But you know when it really turned the corner was when we started the Plaster Manufacturing Center.